this episode of It Came From My Side of the Laundry Room. We're going to reminisce about how awesome McDonald's used to be in the 80s, and we're going to look at some Happy Meal toys. So, stick around. folks and welcome to it came from my side of the laundry room in this episode like i said we're going to reminisce about how great mcdonald's used to be back in the 1980s and we're going to take a look at some great happy meal toys see when i was a kid i hardly ever got to go to mcdonald's it was once in a blue moon when i actually got to go there so i have some really strong memories of it because it was such a rarity and Happy Meal toys were something that I always saw from afar, but never really had. So I think that's why I have this real need to collect them nowadays. So I have a box of them still in the bags that I find at flea markets here and there. And we're going to open up some of them. So without further ado, let's take a look at the toys. Okay, and away we go. Like I said... McDonald's was never really a place that I went that much as a kid. Usually my parents went to Hardee's, which Hardee's had some fantastic Happy Meals toys and toys that you could buy by themselves, like the Pound Puppies and stuff. So it's not like I went without, but there's just something about the peel of McDonald's. Now... One of my biggest memories, and let's start grabbing some stuff here and opening it up. One of the biggest things I remember from Hardy or from McDonald's, sorry for the faux pas, was their playground. And that's actually where the whole genesis for this episode came from. Awesome. That, um,. Where I work, I just noticed this year, it might be new, it might have been there forever, that across the street, one of the houses has the original McDonald's slide. And what that was, and I don't know if it was this way with everyone's or just the one in my town, but it was um, the, uh, the pirate dude. I think his name was Captain Crook. So it was a large fiberglass head and shoulder like bust of him at the top of this old school metal slide that you would climb up to and burn yourself going down as it baked in the sun during the summer. But I recently have saw noticed this slide and there's a part of me that wants to just knock on the house and their door and say, is it cool if I take some pictures of this? I mean, it's very weather worn, you can tell, but yeah, I'm just too chicken to ever do something like that. So I gaze at it from afar and just reminisce about McDonald's of all things. So I know it's a weird thing to talk about, but good thing I have a a uh, addiction to getting Happy Meal toys when I see them at the flea markets and stuff. So what we can see here is this is part of the Garfield line. And if I look here, these came out in 1988. Uh, it was four in the series. I just grabbed a handful of stuff, so I don't even know how many I have or what all I have. So... This is awesome. You got Garfield with a Hawaiian shirt on, on a skateboard. I mean, the colors, very reminiscent of the 80s. The pink, the green. So, I mean, this could double as Garfield as Chuckles from G.I. Joe, if you wanted. So, we have him. Let's set him up here. And back to the playground. One of the... Here's another Garfield. Another uh, thing about the playground, here's number one in the series, was the, I remember 
they had this large cage that was grimace and it was his head at the top his arms coming out and the cage was pretty much his body and you would get inside the cage and just shake it like it was just on probably some springs or something that you would shake back and forth and it was really loud but really weird that you were in grimace's stomach for that I remember they had a large statue of Ronald. No real uh, playground apparatus of him. Just him there. Thank God. I mean, what would he do? Uh, like those little uh, spring horse things that you would sit on and go back and forth, back and forth. I remember they were like the uh, the hamburgers. Here's Garfield on a sc scooter. Something looks off with his ears here. I mean, they don't have the black stripes. I guess they're fanned back, but something about his face just doesn't look right. This one looks more like it. I mean, it's not the best of paint jobs, but... Pretty cool. Purple here. Purple and pink motif with the blue but let's be honest would Garfield really do either of these I mean he's a big lazy cat I mean I don't see him doing these things but these are awesome I ain't knocking them but I'm sure there was more but those are the things that stood out and like I said, I never really went there a lot. I remember I was there for a birthday party. I mean, nowadays, hosting a birthday party at a fast food joint, I think, would be absurd. I think people would freak out about it, of course. And I think that's why we see, I mean, we still have toys at McDonald's, thank goodness. And some of them are pretty darn awesome that my kids get. But I think the whole playground thing and... I mean, let's think about it. McDonald's at one time had dolls. I mean, there were Mego dolls. There was a big Ronald, I think, with a pull string that talked doll. You had plates, which are awesome with the seasons and all. I mean, McDonald's was huge. The characters were huge. And, I mean, the McDonald's Christmas commercial was up there as must-see viewing during the Christmas season as any of the Christmas specials were. This is awesome. Here's Garfield. This is the, I think, under two toy. This is the big kid toy. This is the toddler toy because they were one piece. Got Pookie here. This is also from 88. No, this is from... Ooh. Take a look at this packaging real quick. Yeah, the under three toy from 1988. Okay. Just the years are different here, I guess, for the trademarks. But that's cool. I love these type of things. These were huge in the 80s. Just PVC figures like this. I mean, I have a bunch of them. I mean, I think Smurfs spawned the whole trend. But anyway, I think a lot of that fun, mascotty goodness that McDonald's had got destroyed when people's health was brought into question. And rightfully so. I mean, it's not healthy to eat there all the time. But that's one of those things where it should be... The responsibility of the eater, not the eatery. I mean, but I think that Morgan Spurlock guy with his Super Size Me thing probably ended up doing more damage than good because it wasn't a true um, scientific study on what mcdonald's could do to your body i mean we all know it's bad it's fast food but he went at it with an agenda and that's the only thing that mattered to him was that agenda so no matter if there were um 
any positives at all, he wouldn't have focused on those because that wouldn't have sold his documentary. Anyway, that's my little soapbox on that. Let's get to the toys. Now, this one's in a different bag than the other ones. There we go. Now, that is an 80s yuppie version of Garfield if I've ever seen one. And we got Odie, which is awesome. Always loved Odie. His hand doesn't really want to fit that great on the scooter here. Now that's cool, but to display Garfield, you're blocking Odie. That ain't cool. I know how Garfield feels about him, but dang. But Odie looks great. Got his tongue. He's happy to be zooming down the road. But it's hard to get his hand on there. So there we have four Garfields, not all four in the series. We only have three of the series, so we're missing one. And I'll definitely have to track that down. I may have it or not, so we'll have to look. Now, getting to mascots again. We were talking about Ronald. Mac the Knight here. What's his name? Mac Tonight, yeah. 1988, same year. Uh, collect all six sets. This is set number three. So this is, there were six of these, apparently. And I know I only have a couple here. But great ad campaign. I mean, great. I mean, it was creepy in the way like Max Hedrum is, kind of. Where it's just a little unsettling. But neat ad campaign. I mean, great design. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. That's just cool with the moon, half moon face there. But here he is on a jet ski. It really rolls. I mean, it's definitely not as awesome as the Garfield ones, but still pretty solid. Um, we got another one here. This is set number two. This is Mac Tonight in a sports car. <coughs> Anyway, it was like one of the things, and I'm trying to track them down, and I have yet to really find them in good enough shape, is my aunt took me there once when she babysat me over a weekend, and it was the Bernstein Bear toys, and that, that was awesome, and that's a memory I have of McDonald's, that, and the birthday party I went to, that I don't remember that much from it. I just remember that my parents dropped me off, and I was really young, and it was kind of like a Porsche 911, but, um, I mean, that's a nice toy. Got the marketing here. Oh, also on there. But, um, that, and I remember, I may be speaking out of school here, but along with the Garfield toys, I think they had Garfield uh, like mugs, like little glass mugs or cups that went along with it. Um, I remember, I mean, this is jumping off topic, but Burger King had some awesome glasses back in the day. I mean, they had Muppets, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Just, I mean, Burger King was awesome, but I never ate there other than a handful of times. Um, but Hardee's, that was the go-to for my family. So, that's why I just, I don't know. These aren't the most sophisticated of toys, but I just, I love them because they are a, I mean, they're nostalgic. I mean, it's a part of, oh, this is the under three toy again. How odd. Both of them being on skateboards. But this is one rad dude here into extreme sports. Look at that. He's gleaming the cube. Little discoloration here. Probably from the bag from all those years being in it. Whew, bad paint job down here on the board. But 
awesome. I mean, this is this is cool. Yet again, I gravitate towards these PVC figures more. My I'm still like, ooh, these are awesome. More so than like this. I mean, this is cool, but this I think is more rad. So speaking of McDonald's mascots, here we have the Halloween McNugget Buddies. This is one from 1992, so from the 90s. That's awesome that they lasted that long. I I honestly don't remember when it ended. I mean, Ronald still pops up now and again, but you don't see Birdie anymore, or Grimace, or Hamburglar that much. So here's a McNugget buddy. And it's a Halloween one, so it is a mummy, I believe. Look at that. Awesome. Spider on the head. Two different colored eyes, which is a little unique. Got the M, of course. But it's just sad that, yes, the health thing. I mean, that, okay, that's over here. But the whole whimsy of it, the fun of it. That's gone. That That's sad to me. I mean, that's something that... Okay, here's Back to the Future from... That's really chewed up. From 1991. So this would be the time that the Back to the Future cartoon was out. Just rolls. We got Marty on the hoverboard. Giving the thumbs up. Which you should do if you like this episode. Just joking. But, um... <laughs> listening to other YouTubers do stuff like that. Um, so anyway, here's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine different Happy Meal toys from the 80s and the 90s. And just a little bit of reminiscing about what McDonald's used to be. I mean, it was fun. Nowhere else really had mascots. I mean, Burger King had a dude in print form, and it wasn't until those creepy, awesome Burger King commercials later on where he was given a, a actual physical embodiment. So... I miss it. I miss that time period. I miss that unique playground. I wish that was still there to take my kids to. Now, we have a couple McDonald's in the area, but only one of them has a play place, and it's just your generic ball pit and tube slides and stuff like that, which we don't let the kids get in on to because you don't know how hygienic it is. I mean, there's balls. You don't know what a kid did in that. I mean... Back in the day, the stuff that was outside, you at least know nature was taking care of it with scalding sunlight and rain to wash it all away. At least that's my 80s way of thinking. A lot of people don't think like that anymore. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I just I have a affinity for Happy Meal or any fast food toys. I mean, I've gone over a few in the past. We've looked at DuckTales and uh, Rescue Rangers ones. And now we're taking a look at these. So, thanks for watching. Now, back to me for the outro. I hope you all enjoyed that episode. Now, I know, in the big scheme of things, Happy Meal toys aren't really that big of a deal. But, to me, a toy is a toy. And they all have special meaning and great playability. Some of them, more than others, are classics. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say about McDonald's, Happy Meal toys, Hardee's toys, whatever, please leave a comment. I love reading them and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this or any of the episodes that YouTube is recommending down here, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you will be notified whenever there's a new episode. So, until next time, keep being rad and stay dorky.